very good evening my friends how are you hope you guys are doing very well and welcome to this new weekly market analysis video from extreme trader this is Salah speaking of course as usual we have to start with the euro usd now in the last week i mentioned that the euro usd should actually start reversing on this support level and perhaps it will go down to hit the support level here and then it's gonna reverse however the euro usd indeed reversed but actually it went like 25 25 uh, pips down below the support level and then again went back up all the way and again it bounced uh, back on this previous support so this was actually a fake breakout from the support the euro usd did not go below this level meaning it's now gonna continue its bullish momentum and we can see that the euro usd indeed is climbing its way up here so what is now the next move the next move is I'm expecting for the euro USD if we look at the daily chart we can see that the euro USD has bounced more than three times actually on this support level so the support on 1.09254 is a very strong level and doesn't seem like the euro USD is gonna break from this point here so what I'm what I'm suggesting actually is that we can start uh, turning off uh, steam <laughs> first thing then we can actually start buying the euro usd let me just try to be accurate as much as possible here uh, let me go to the euro usd uh, to the four hour chart if i set my support level like that i believe yes so what's happening now in the four hour chart well we can see that the euro usd has went all the way up here to this previous uh, support here and which was also in the past a resistance right here as well meaning the euro USD is now bouncing on this resistance and I believe it will continue its bearish momentum until it hit this uh, support level on 1.09409 that will be the good level to start buying the euro USD I believe that because I don't think it's gonna go down since we have here now uh, an upside down head and shoulders appeared meaning the euro usd should now start continuing its uh, bullish momentum i believe it will continue its bullish momentum until it hit this previous resistance right here on the level 1.11025 that should be your take profit level and yeah i believe that's what's gonna happen with uh, with the euro usd this week so please wait for it to go down here to this level for about uh, 37 pips then you can start buying the euro usd but let, let me tell you something there is also a chance that the euro usd might reverse on this level 1.09584 so to not miss that chance i think it's gonna be a good idea to wait for the euro usd to go down to the support then place your buy right on it expect it to go down a little bit to hit this previous support before it could start continuing to go more up here because this level is really strong and i believe we since we had here two attempts it doesn't seem like the euro will go below it before it continue to fly more up now let's go to the pound usd uh, i believe the pound usd has reversed almost uh, as i mentioned uh i believe yes i mentioned that the pound usd should be good to start buying right on this support on one one point double two zero eight three you can refer to my last week video and that is exactly what happened the pound usd went down to this point those who have entered with the buy order on this uh, support level and they exit the trade exactly as where i mentioned because i told you the pound usd will reverse on this support and gonna continue go, uh, going uh, up uh, in the bullish, bullish momentum all the way until it hit this previous resistance right here so that was about 172 pips uh, congratulations to those who have entered this trade and kept it running all the way now let's see what will gonna happen now we can see that there is a bullish a price action here indicating that there is now a bullish momentum for the euro for the pound usd so if we track it we can see that this the very same level was in the past a strong resistance and also a strong support now what we can see from this ac price action here is a lot of support attempts here then the candles went down to this previous support and then went up then again went down below the support level and again went up then 
and then only we can see the pound USD again bouncing on the very same previous support level right here. So that's meaning that the pound USD is facing a strong uh, pressure from the buyers. Uh, I believe the buyer is now controlling the market. So what I can think about is that the, Euro, the pound USD will continue its bullish momentum. Now the question is from where should I start buying the pound USD? Actually, it's really risky because now it's on a ranging mode here. And as, as you know, as I have explained many times, this is actually a risky way to trade. Uh, let me tell you, I just want everyone to be safe here. So I would advise you to wait on Monday opening wait for the pound USD to go down to the level 1.2967 and then you can start buying the pound USD. I believe that will be the safest point to start buying the pound USD because uh, we are facing here double bottom so it seems like the pound USD will continue going up here until it hit this previous resistance and we are talking about a lot of pips actually uh, 182 pips hopefully it's gonna happen so again pound usd should be good to start buying on 1.22967 keep your trade running until the level uh, 1. Double, uh, sorry, 1.24802 however pound is always subjective sub subjective to the uh, uk uh, parliament news and the brexit news Please be careful. Don't keep your uh, trade on the pound running for a long time. I highly recommend you to start scalping the pound USD only. But keep it running for a long time. It's risky since we are now facing a lot of news happening because now Mr. Johnson is requesting to delay or postpone the Brexit for another uh, few weeks, I believe. So it's going to be affecting the pound very badly. Please be careful. And for technical analysis, we can say that the pound USD is going up. But again, we have to be careful for any unexpected, uh, unexpected news about Brexit or whatever. Let's now move to the AUD USD. So the AUD USD has kept its bullish momentum. We can see we have attempts of the support 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So five attempts of the support indicating that the market definitely is going up. It's not going to go down at any time. However, it might go a little bit down. Sorry, I mean, it's not going down all the way. It's just going to go down here to make one last uh, test of the support level right here. Remember that this support level was also a strong support level in the past as well, right here and right here. And it was also a strong resistance. So here it was a support. So I believe uh, AUD USD on the Monday opening will go a little bit down, make a final retest on the support level before it actually start continuing to go more up until it hit this previous support level right here. So let's be more accurate. Just like that. So AUD USD should be good to start by on 0.67. Um, double four six with the take profit of zero point uh, six eight two double six. Now, of course, the big question here coming to the minds is what about the stop loss? You are only setting your take profit. What about the stop loss? How can we know? Well, I don't like to repeat many things what I am saying because it's really going to be boring for the followers. I mentioned many times. If you see the candle breaking out from the level and actually closes as a final breakout candle from the support level, then you close your trade with the loss. That is your stop loss. Me, as a fix, as extreme trader, I believe in the stop loss as a price action, not as a level. I never ever mention to anyone that we can start or so you can st uh, set the stop loss on certain price. Never. That is not how you trade Forex. We trade Forex based on support and resistance and based on price action. If I see price action indicating that this market is going down, which is indicated by a strong bearish uh, breakout candle from the support, then I will decide this candle, uh, this candle is uh, not going in my favor and that is my stop loss. It's never a, a price level. And that's why uh, I cannot answer those who, who tell me 
what about your stop loss because I have explained this actually millions of times please refer back to my videos let's go now to check the USD CAD so the USD CAD is actually on the four hour chart is seems nice for the bullish momentum definitely USD CAD is having good days and it's going up but however we can see it now reversing at this resistance level so what's the what's the expected boy, uh, next move from the USD CAD well since it's having this bu a very strong bullish breakout candle I believe that the USD CAD will make one final uh, test to this previous resistance here and then it's going to continue its bullish momentum breaking out this resistance here it will go all the way to make a second attempt of the top of this resistance right here so the USD CAD is going to be good to start buying uh, let me just be accurate as much as possible it should be like this actually yeah why because here is exactly the nearest uh, resistance candle to this bullish breakout candle and here also this was, this was a very strong resistance level and we can see it was here a support here a support here a support and here it was a resistance so the level 1.32 let me just set it for you sorry ah okay buy the level 1.32860 is very strong uh, level as a support and resistance and again please refer to the history we can see it resistance here support here resistance here support then support support resistance resistance that level is very strong and since we can see the USD CAD is reversing at the very same resistance here it's gonna keep uh, its bearish momentum until retesting this final level of the USD CAD uh, which was the previous resistance and then we can start buying the USD CAD keep your trade running until the level 1.3705 that is gonna be your tech profit hopefully uh, the USD CAD will follow this analysis now let's check the USD GPY which was really good signal because I mentioned in my last video last week that the USD GPY is gonna reverse on this resistance and it's gonna keep uh, going down all the way until it hit this previous uh, support and it just continue to keep going down even below the support level so anyway those who have taken my signal have earned no less than 100 pips of profit so what is the next move well we can see now the USD GPY is bouncing on the support level now let's check the history this level has a support number one attempt and also having a support number two and we can see it was also a strong resistance in the past now seeing the four hour chart is not, not gonna cut it we need to look at the daily chart okay so looking at the daily chart we can see that we had here a strong a key support level that is a key support level key support meaning this level we can see that the market is bouncing on this support and it's gonna continue its position and it will keep its level uh, it will continue it will continue to keep its uh, level um, as a support here meaning we can expect for the USD GPY to go down a little bit just for a final retesting for this uh, support level before it actually continue to go more up to hit this previous resistance so let's go back to the four hour chart what is the next move let's check it out now USD GPY is actually on the level of the resistance right here and we can see it already made a, a test level oh sorry a testing for this resistance level on here and here and here there is a chance that the USD GPY will go a little bit more up to make one final test for this resistance before it go down and I believe right on the support level on 106. 732 will be the good chance to start buying the USD GPY and we can keep our trade running all the way until it hit this previous uh, resistance level on 107.920 that's gonna be your tech profit and again the reason is we are having this very strong support level and let me tell you something these long tails here 
at the bottom of these candles indicating a strong a strong uh, pressure from the buyers this indicating a really strong rejection of any breakout from this level here especially seeing this candle here the very last candle here the last green candle that is very strong candle indicating that the market has uh, shown a strong rejection and the market flies way more up here and uh, when 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 the candle tried to break from this uh, support level this strong bullish momentum is very uh, informative it's very how can i say that um it's really a strong signal that's telling you this support level is very strong and we can actually start buying the usdgpy immediately actually it's not a bad idea we're gonna risk uh, losing uh, between 15 to 20 pips but buying the usdgpy immediately doesn't seem to be really a bad idea but expect it to go down to the level 106.732 before it actually start continuing to go more up for about 153 pips but you know something just to be safe let me adjust my take profit level to be on 107.868 that is even more safe because um because we are facing here a strong resistance as well which was also a support in the past and here we have a resistance number one so what i'm expecting for the usdgpy is to go like this to go all the way up here to create the resistance number two at that time that will be actually better idea to close your trade and hopefully it will be good profit for everyone now let's check the usdchf usdchf however did not move as i expected it because i was expecting for it to go down but sadly it just continued to go more up and by the way that is what i'm talking about for the stop loss look at this very strong bullish candle when i see this candle i just close my trade with the loss because that is my stop loss indicator or my stop loss uh, alarm because it doesn't seem like the usdc chef is going to continue going down at all it seems like it's going up more and more and to, to break out from this resistance level that's why if you see this candle here just close your trade with the loss without waiting for the candle to go down however what happened here let's see what happened what happened is this candle has breaking from this resistance and instead of reversing it just actually continue or sorry it uh, it, um, how can i say that it just turned out to be a new support level so this resistance here has become now the new support attempt number one and we can see here the support attempt number two so what's next uh, well i believe that this ranging here because actually if you read if you can read the scandal if you can see this price action we can see that indeed the usdchf really went above this support uh, this resistance and this resistance but however there was a strong rejection here look at these wicks at the top these wicks at the top indicating that there is a strong pressure from the sellers and doesn't seem like the usdchf is going up below this resistance no i really don't think that at all i don't think so uh, let's look at the daily candles and that is almost can be confirmed because we can see right now that the usdchf is stuck on this resistance zone like that so seeing that we can tell that the usdchf seems to be going down i don't believe it's going to go up here so what is the the next level to start selling the usdchf well it seems like the same resistance level here and this market the market just kept going up and down it's just like a worm here it's just like it's trying its best to break from this resistance however it just failed so again usdchf should be should be good to start sell at the level 0 0.99784 and we can keep our thread running until it hit this uh, support level right here uh, your tech profit will be 0 0.98995 hopefully that will be our tech profit and we are talking about approximately uh, 75 pips of profit because after that we can't predict what will gonna happen to the usdchf it's really tricky because of this a lot of zigzag moves and these ranging markets i really prefer to avoid it 
but however we have to give the signal here so uh, expected uh, expect the USDC, USDC shift to go a little bit to this resistance for about 28 pips you can start selling it and then keep your trade running until it hit this previous support now let's check the gold now the gold um, I have mentioned in the past or sorry in the last week that it's gonna be really safe to not do anything with the gold until it hit <coughs> this previous resistance right here well we can see that the gold indeed uh, tried to break from the support level it went down below but however the market went back above this support level so I believe it's gonna continue uh, its bullish momentum um, let me now adjust my signal because what I'm seeing here is the gold has already made a small move here it touched this previous resistance somehow and then reversed so I believe it's not really gonna be safe option to start selling the gold on the old signal I gave last week we need to change that well I believe that the gold is gonna reverse now right on this resistance let me just be more accurate like this gold is gonna reverse I believe on the level 1530 and that will be actually our best chance to start um, sorry to start selling the gold now what is the next move because that actually might take some time I believe that the, the gold will actually continue to go more up here because we are facing here a strong support level right here a lot of support attempts on this level meaning the gold might be actually going up but again I really don't advise you to do anything with the gold unless you see it hopefully on Monday opening uh, will touch this previous resistance level on the level 1530 that will be the safest point to start selling the gold and we can keep our trade running until it hit this previous support right here or actually you know something let me look at the daily chart <clears throat> daily chart it has been pending here for a long time it's ranging so yes I don't think it's gonna break from this resistance at all uh, we can expect for it to reverse on this res uh, resistance at 1530 uh, let me adjust that take your make your take profit right on this previous support that will be more safe so the target now will be the level 1511 so gold uh, sell on 1530 take profit on 1511 uh, don't keep it running more than that and I believe we are looking for about 180 pips of profit hopefully we will get it and by that uh, that is the end of this uh, analysis for this week again I really hope it will be profitable week for everyone and in the end I hope that was informative to you and I would like to thank you for watching